Hi everyone, so after I did my top 5 foundations video, quite a few of you suggested a top 5 blusher video and I was like, this is easy, I know what these are so that's great, I'll get on and do that. Quite a few of you were also requesting um, eyeliner and mascara videos, but in all honesty the only mascara that I use is the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof mascara and eyeliner I just never really wear and if I do wear eyeliner it's one of the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. So that kind of gets those two videos out of the way and crossed off the list because that was literally all I would say in them. But on to blushes and just before I start another thing, I didn't say this in my foundation one but for all of my foundations I apply them with the Real Techniques buffing brush or my fingers if I'm in a rush. And with, oh that rhymed, um, but with all my blushes I use another Real Techniques brush, I just think their brushes are awesome and I use the Real Techniques multitask brush and this comes in the travel set which you can't actually get in boots but you can get off of Love Makeup and I think Victoria Health as well. Um, so I will link uh, that below for where you can pick this brush up because I don't really like any of the other ones in the set but it's worth paying the 20 quid just for this brush because I think it's awesome for blusher. And I'm gonna get started with, I'm gonna try and do this in like order of favourites. So I'm gonna go from least favourite. Doesn't mean I don't like it, just the least favourite out of the five. And if you had asked me last year what my favourite blusher would have been, I 100% would have said this one. And I think this was actually the winner of like my 2011 makeup favourites. And it is the MAC blusher. It's a matte blusher and it's the shade Melba. I really do like the shade still, but out of all the colours that I've got, this is kind of the dreariest almost. It's now when I look at it, I look at it and I see an almost blush slash contour shade. It's a peachy brown rather than a lot of the other ones that I've got are peachy pinks or peachy kind of corals. This is very much a brown sort of peach. Oh, quick note, I love peachy pinky blushes that's all you're really gonna see here because that's all I really wear is what just fits well with the rest of the makeup that I wear and my skin tone that kind of thing so MAC Melba is one that I like but for me it's more of one it's very very neutral and it's one that goes with any type of makeup that you're wearing at all but it's definitely not my most experimental blusher choice because it is quite a dull colour compared to the other ones but it is good if you're not really into the whole bronzing, highlighting this kind of thing, you can just put this on the cheeks, it just sculpts them very nicely. So that's MAC Melba. Next up on the list has to be Benefit Coralista. The packaging for this is pretty funky. It comes with a little brush, but I've never even used that. I use the Real Techniques one. This is kind of the lightest blush that I've got in this top five. It's much more of a sheer, it's got a golden shimmer running through it. This is everything that I thought, um, NARS Orgasm would be, but NARS Orgasm is so much more redder and darker than this. This is a very light pink with a hint of coral in it. Really, really pretty. You can build it up into quite an intense shade, but really it's much more of a sheer kind of pink wash of colour. Very, very pretty. Really nice girly shade. Looks gorgeous with a bit of a tan. The next one is a cream blush, and I would do a whole video on my top five cream blushes, but in all honesty, this one is the only one that I really go back to and use all the time. It's the nicest formula, it's a steel convertible colour, and I think this, this formulation is perfect. It's very creamy, it looks very dewy on the face still, it doesn't dry to a matte sort of powder finish, it dries to a really nice gorgeous sheeny finish, the colour's really, really pigmented, really pigmented, but gorgeous, and um, it also looks great on the lips because it's got that creamy sort of texture to it, and I've got the shade Gerbera, which I don't really hear too much about, I know, is it Lilium, it's a sort of best-selling pink shade, um, but I just got this on a bit of a whim really, I like googled it and saw some swatches and thought, yeah, that's a really pretty colour, and it is a very sort of peachy pink blush. It's a gorgeous formula, gorgeous shade, you need the tiniest, tiniest bit I would actually only get my brush and put it, dab it in once. If you dab it in more than once, you're going to get way too much colour. It's very, very pigmented. Once and then on the cheeks, blend it out. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, but it looks really nice on the lips as well. So it's a really multitasking product, which is why I love it. I love the packaging as well. I think it's really cute. They come with sort of their, their colour in the outer packaging. Really, really nice. If anyone has any more recommendations for other colours that I should get, then do pop them below. Now, really, the next two our ultimate shared top place really I couldn't pick a favourite out of all of them I have kind of cheated because I picked three um, but I thought I could get away with it because I've got two of the Laura Mercier 
Second Skin Cheek Colours, and this is the shade Lush Nectarine, which you've all heard me talk about before, and then Peach Whisper. So I thought I could get away with it because I thought they were quite similar, they're the same brand. Um, these are basically just, oh my god, I, I reach for these all the time. Peach Whisper is sort of the matte version of Lush Nectarine. Lush Nectarine has a bit of a golden shimmer running through it. Gorgeous shade for the summer, a very nice golden sort of sheen. They are just beautiful, beautiful colours. You do not get a lot for your money, that's the only downside with these blushes. I think you only get... 3.6 grams which is nothing compared to the other ones but they're very very pigmented so again you need the tiniest tiniest amount the thing I love about the Laura Mercier blushes is they're all in really nice subtle shades you're not going to really overdo it on blush with any of the Laura Mercier shades they're very natural very subtle and just really naturally kind of enhancing for the face so I really really highly recommend these two shades I know the Peach Whisper I think is limited edition but it's being put in their permanent line so you don't have to rush out to get either of them but they are gorgeous and definitely join top spot with the next blush the next blush is what I've got on my cheeks today and it's the Tar Amazonian clay long wear blush in tipsy I just think this shade I mean when you open it up it is just like a wow sort of shade it is majorly majorly intense Again, as with all of the others, it's very pigmented, so I would only pop it in once, really. You can build it up, but you only need a tiny, tiny amount of this. It's really difficult to get hold of in the UK. I'll try and bring some back for you guys and do a giveaway or something to try and give some of this away, because it is a fantastic, fantastic shade. I really hope... I'm sure Tarte was in the UK, and then it got discontinued or something. It needs to come back. You can pick this up on eBay, but obviously eBay is a bit... Um, so if you ever know someone that's going to America or someone that's going near Sephora or something then get them to pick this up for you because it is a stunning shade and Exposed is on my shopping list to pick up when I go to America next time so love 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 this shade it is gorgeous I mean it's got like a little etching inside and I haven't even taken the etching away because I, you need that tiny tiny amount of it you get 5.6 grams so it's quite a quite a lot of grams in there but it is lovely just a really beautiful enhancing radiance boosting really like healthy dose shade my friend at work when she wears this i know straight away i'm like yeah you've got that on your cheeks because it just gives a gorgeous glow to the face so those are my top five blushes a bit of an obvious choice i guess you guys have probably guessed all of those blushes but it was a very easy video for me to film because i love them all but especially the tarte ones and the laura mercier ones they are just awesome so i hope you enjoyed watching it any comments do pop them below any questions i'll try my best to get back to you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye